This is video 3 on how to create digital art using ArtRage 2.5. In this video we're going to talk about the color picker. Now I think this is pure genius on the ArtRage 2.5 developers. It is fascinating what this can do. Now right here in this section is the color wheel. And what that is is it's your hue and your saturation. Over here is the luminance, and it's either brighter or less bright. They also get you to do metallic paint in this control bar, and you can decide how much metallic you want to show in your paint. This is awesome. For instance, let me go over here to the paintbrush and make a stroke without the metallic. Boom. Now if I move it all the way up, this is what you get. Isn't that awesome? If you go with a lighter color, it's pretty good. And if you go with a gold, it almost looks like gold leaf. That is so cool. And another part of the control bar is this arrow. If you click on it, you'll see that you can show color samples panel, which is this. And if you click on a color and click on new, it adds it. Now you can have it where you give it a name, or you can click and it's just the color. You just click on a color, add new, click another color, add new, and what's awesome about this is, say you're painting and you've decided on several different colors. Well, if you put them in here, it makes clicking on them a lot easier than trying to find them again down here. Along with this is if you press the down arrow, you can load colors. If you click on it, you'll come up with colors that either you've made or that they have done already for ArtRage 2.5. And you'll come up with a bunch. You can save the colors that you've made, which is awesome, or you can remove all colors and click the X to exit. I wanted to show you one other thing. This is a grip handle and you can move it anywhere in the window. The same with the rest of these. these this will move up and down your layers, your tool settings, and your toolbox. If you click the grip, this will go down and out of your way, or you can bring it back by clicking on the grip. Let's get rid of this, and let's go into some more on the control bar. Now, I have it checked so that the hue, the luminance, and the uh, saturation picker, and that's what shows up in the color wheel. Now, if I choose this one, it changes. This, it changes again. So you have a pick of any type you want. You even have the red, green, blue picker. And depending on, click on it, the color wheel, it will change. As will this, brighter or less bright. Now this is the red, blue, green picker and will change according to wh whether you have a lot of blue, whether you have less blue, it's all going to change as it mixes. The blue, green, red picker is again changed, so you'll pick accordingly. The numeric color picker comes up and what you can do with the dials is you can change them and you'll show the original here and the new here. You can change the luminance, you can change the saturation, the hue. You can just have total fun clicking and finding a color. If you click OK, then it shows up down here. The custom picker, you can load a custom picker and what you'll do is you'll go and find a color. Click open 
and it shows up in your color wheel so that if you click on it, you can then paint whatever color is in that picture. I mean, that's pure genius. Say you want to do a portrait. You have a picture of uh, another portrait. You put it in here and you can just click and be able to do the skin colors. That's fantastic. Now, another one is you can create a custom picker. And what this does is if you grab the grip, you can put it over, click here, give it a name, save it, and it'll show up in your color wheel. The same thing. You can click on it and then paint whatever you're going to paint. Now, how cool this is, is say you wanted to, let's go back to this one. Let's go ahead into Edit Clear first. And let's say I wanted to pick a bunch of colors. And then maybe I want to just color over them with something else. And I get colors that I might like to use in something. Well, then all I have to do is click, put a custom picker, create custom picker, put it over this color, click the check mark, give it a name. Well, it could help if I typed, right? And you'll notice it's a PNG because that's what it accepts. You do save. And then it shows up here. So if I'm working, I can just click, like the paint, or even the airbrush, and it's going to paint. The color. Now that is awesome. It's awesome because it's just like if you were painting by hand, you can mix your colors how you want. The next is complements. It can be orange and blue, red, green, yellow, violet. Now you can also do photos. For instance, it will show some that's already in here. Paint my cat. These are apparently the colors that were used to paint that cat. Black ranges are cool. These would be the color range for cool colors. This is the color range for warm colors. And these are the pickers that I have already just made, like I showed you before. So that's it for the color picker. They were geniuses. I don't care what anybody says. To be able to have so many choices for how you pick a color is totally terrific.